Josephine Baker could be described as a trailblazer, a woman whose life reads like the script of a Hollywood movie. Miss Josephine Baker. On the 28th of August 1963, over 200,000 people gathered in the shadow of the Lincoln Memorial for the March on Washington. This crowd, filled with hope and optimism, would soon hear Martin Luther King Jr.'s iconic I Have a Dream speech. But before he took to the stage, Josephine spoke to those assembled, the only woman to officially make an address. She would tell stories of the discrimination she faced as a black woman in America and speak of the liberty that she was denied in her home country, but that she found in France. This is the happiest day of my entire life. Historian Benetta Jules Rosette was just 14 years old when the words of Josephine Baker spoke to her. Few recordings of her 20-minute speech remain, but Jules Rosette is determined that her words won't be lost to history. In that country, I never feared. It was like a fairyland place. I could go to any restaurant I wanted to, and I didn't have to go to a colored toilet either. I had to tell you, that it was nice. I wasn't afraid anymore. That speech had an impact because uh, I grew up in Washington, D.C. during the period of segregation, and so I know what it was like. At the rally, Baker was flanked by numerous movie stars of the time. She was no stranger to the silver screen herself, but her life as an entertainer was put on hold when World War II broke out. Working for the French resistance, Baker would use her celebrity to infiltrate embassy parties and gatherings and report any intelligence back to the Allies. Her bravery earned her several medals, which she wore with pride. Pourquoi avez-vous accepté d'entrer dans les services secrets? Pour défendre la France, mon idéal, qui est la vôtre, j'espère, la dignité humaine. Baker would never attain the same level of recognition in the U.S. as in her adoptive France. But despite renouncing her citizenship, she would never give up the fight for racial equality.